Hello everyone, my name is Bruf and today we are going to be making a, a small program that checks if a palind uh, if a string is a palindrome or not. This this program is used in a lot of interviews. Uh, it's such a basic program, but it is very fundamental. So if you're new to JavaScript or if you're prepare preparing for an interview, then this is the best uh, short tutorial for you. So let's just get into it and see how we can do that. Open your favorite code editor and make a new file and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it palindrome. Let's make a variable <coughs> which will hold our palin maybe palindrome string, right? It's maybe palindrome. So we add a string here and we add it as B A A B. All right. Now uh, I'm going to be doing it uh, in a very very fast method it actually goes to show that you know some of the inner workings of javascript and you are using it to your advantage take this string and we are going to put it in the same variable and then we can split it right so when we split it it becomes into uh, an array but after sp splitting it we reverse it right why are we doing this i'll let you know soon enough and if you're not getting it i'm going to be uh, I, I can repeat it again but uh don't worry i will actually show you the whole what what is actually happening right now so basically we are taking whatever we have here we're taking our string b a a b we are splitting it by nothing which means it's going to split it by these gaps here from here from here from here and here right so it's going to make four elements in an array uh, and then we are going to use a javascript function to reverse that array all right and then because we are doing some really really advanced concept here uh, that's why i said that your interview might actually be impressed with you if you do that so and then we do something very very uh genius right about here we are join we will join the array again with what is string nothing we'll just join join it without any separators i'll do not worry i will explain all of these functions and i will explain what is happening right here just stick with me and you'll get what is happening here right so let's just get into the basics of what's happening here after we can see the output of this uh this process that we have done so let's make a console.log and log this program log this string right here actually you know what let's not do that uh, let's make an if condition and we are going to check if maybe palindrome right you know what maybe palindrome reversed right yeah maybe let's do that maybe palindrome reversed is equals to, is to maybe palindrome is equals to, is to maybe palindrome reversed maybe it is maybe it is not when it's reversed all right and this is our uh, string so let's check if this is the case if it is the case we are going to uh print out our palindrome string and we are going to leave a nice little message as well as well here we're going to say that hey your string was pretty palindromy. Yep, yep, that is it. We have done it. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> okay, let's open a terminal here. This is Visual Studio Code, by the way. If you guys want me to show you my coding process, leave a like on this video and also comment down below. But let's see if this code runs. palindrome.js hey your string was palindromy because it meshed right now we add a little bit of babe in there all right let's see if that matches it shouldn't uh okay so it didn't print out anything because my string was not palindromy babe is not palindrome as much as you want it to be let's print an else as well here 
where we say sorry but no palindromy for you sorry but no palindromy for you all right so that's what it is we just successfully figured out if our string provided string was a palindrome or not please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down on the video and let me know if you wanna if you want to see like a whole series uh, that is dedicated to javascript programming and how to code in it and maybe uh show you even how to make a node.js server and you know do all that cool stuff along the way so if you want that as well please do let me know and i will see you guys later Bye.